I think when most people first visit us, the thing that strikes them first is our stunning parkland site. Uh, we're blessed with acres of lots of green space, uh, which we think is really good for our students' well-being. While those are superficially what kind of attract the eye, um, the real core of our identity is our, is our vision and our values. We have a very simple vision, which is to provide an outstanding education in the very broadest sense uh, for every student. And I guess most other schools are trying to achieve a similar kind of thing. But I think what makes us special is the way in which we're trying to achieve that, which is always in accordance with two um, fundamental values. Uh, and those values are everyone learning and everyone caring. I think we'd always say everyone caring actually came first. We know that if our students, in order to, to be the best learners uh, and really flourish in their learning, they need to feel safe, they need to feel nurtured, um, and they need to feel respected. Uh, but equally, we know that in order to get the best from our staff, um, they need to feel supported and valued and developed. Um, so that really provides a foundation for all the learning, that atmosphere of care. But then at the same time, everyone learning is what drives our continuous improvement. Um, and it's not just the students, it's us adults who are just as engaged in our own professional learning. Uh, it's our teachers learning to be the best teachers they can be, our support staff learning to be the best support staff, our leaders learning to be the best leaders. A caring school combined with a learning school, uh, I think really is being successful and is really helping us develop those powerful learners um, who are equipped with the key knowledge and skills and understanding to help them progress successfully um, in the next stages of their education, but also for the rest of their learning lives. Uh, but it's also helping us develop um, really caring individuals who are compassionate, uh, who are tolerant, who are respectful, and who we believe are going to go out and make a real positive difference in the world. We're really fortunate to be part of a River Learning Trust. It's the largest multi-academy trust in Oxfordshire, uh, but also uh, its values overlap and complement our own really well. Um, it also really places a lot of value on everyone learning. And I think being part of that trust really sort of fuels the professional learning of our staff. Um, so what it does is it gives our teachers and our support staff and our leaders sort of instant access to the best practice or the best things that are going on uh, across 20 schools, primary and secondary, across Oxfordshire and nearby. And I think that really enhances our capacity to deliver that outstanding education for all of our students. Being a student at Wheatley Park School, it's really, really exciting. There's loads of like fun lessons and the teachers are all like really welcoming and they make sure that like you can talk to them anytime and they really do express that. Coming up from primary school, I hated math. But now math is actually one of my favourite subjects because like the teachers are so encouraging and they kind of like work with you really well. Even when I sort of first came here in year seven, I just felt I, I was being sort of welcomed and sort of proud to be here because it's such a beautiful place to be. The extracurricular activities are amazing. Um, the sports activities, the drama activities, school production, uh, school trips. Yeah, I love all of them, yeah. I was year rep in year eight, and I was also form rep throughout year seven and eight. Um, you get to come to meetings with the head boy and girl team, and you get to really get involved in, you know, what goes on on this, like, behind the scenes in school, and you get to organise lots of events. Overall learning is, is such an important value at Wheatley, and it means that every student that comes into a lesson, we hope whatever their challenges are, um, that they are able to access the learning, they are able to thrive in lessons, but also they're able to be challenged and stretched. And that's really important um, across subjects, across lessons. And it isn't just something that we look at on a, a lesson by lesson basis, but it's something that really shapes our curriculum. And every subject has a very carefully considered curriculum. All the teaching at Wheatley is research led and things are done with a purpose. So they'll expect the same kinds of feedback, the same lesson styles within every subject, even if they've got a different teacher um, in front of them. So they know what's expected of them and that frees up um, cognitive load to so allowing them to actually really learn. Inclusivity would definitely be uh, a key phrase that I'd use when describing Wheatley Park. I think um, students from all backgrounds um, 
all different. We we take in sort of a wide cohort of, of of primary school children, and they, as I said, they come from different backgrounds, and we we endeavour to treat them all the same. We want them all to make exactly the, the progress that they should make, um, regardless of their background, and obviously develop them as young people. Every year group gets the opportunity to do some sort of trip. So year seven for. 31 years I think now we've been running year seven camp um, the whole of year seven every single student leaves and goes and sleeps under canvas for two days um, at a local scout campsite in which they do outward bound activities both run by the school and by the leaders there we make it affordable for every student so that every single student gets the opportunity to do that and get to know their tutors and their form group in that different environment they go through to year eight and year nine where they have bushcraft, we have ski trips, world challenge, uh, day trips, the list goes on. Year seven camp is like, it's just so exciting to go on. Um, you have to put up your tent yourself with your classmates and loads of people's like parents went on it. It's been in the school for like so long, um, but it's really, really fun. And you learn so many like, when you think about it, like crucial key skills that you wouldn't necessarily learn if you didn't go on it. Outside of the classroom, we run clubs in every sport you can imagine. If a student comes to us and asks, can we run this? And I've got five or six friends who want to run Ultimate Frisbee Club with me, then we will try and run Ultimate Frisbee Club for them. We have competitions within Oxfordshire and nationally that we enter. Our uh, crowning glory recently has been our cricket teams um, in which we reached the final four in the country. Um, so we knocked out a lot of um, private schools along the way, um, finally falling in the final four, but that is not expected of a state school. Around year eight, I got interested in sort of doing magic tricks. And one of the things that a lot of the staff really encouraged was setting up sort of a club for magic. And so that's what I did. And we ran this magic club every Thursday lunchtime um, at school. And it was just, something that allowed me to sort of share my interest with other people and also develop it over time. It's something that I don't think I'd be able to do in a lot of other schools. When I was in year seven, late earlier years, I wasn't that confident. And I feel like being in clubs and being with older students helped me a lot. So now that I'm an older student, I sort of want to do the same for the younger students. Um, and yeah, I do that with Interact Club and like debate it, debating as well. So the pastoral provision effectively is the role of assistant head of year, working with students to make sure that they are um, at all times demonstrating our core values, that they are exhibiting what we believe to be our core ideas about kindness and consideration for others. My ideal Nirvana is that once a student leaves Wheatley Park, you can spot a Wheatley Parker in society. They're leaving here, they're going into society, into communities, and they are exhibiting those core skills, core values, that they are picking up in the course of their journey here at Wheatley Park in their education. I feel like the school does a really good job for helping students who want to apply for, to competitive universities. Um, so I want to apply for biology and to get out my personal statement a bit more. Um, I, my teacher allowed me to enter into two bio, biology Olympiads um, and I feel like that's an opportunity that not many students in the country get. And so to be able to put that on my personal statement will make me stand out a lot more. So as a member of the head team, um, I was involved in making two assemblies, so organising and producing them. And uh, this opportunity was really valuable because trust was put into us and, you know, with minimal input, we were the ones that made those things happen. And it felt really nice at the end to have achieved that. The school show is another example of that. So that's very student led, um, I think uniquely to Wheatley. Um, because we choreograph all the dances, we have input into how it's directed. Um, and at the end, you know, we're extremely grateful to the teachers, but we're especially proud of ourselves because it's a student effort. Last school show, there was a really nice moment at the end where anyone who wanted to stand up did in front of everyone and just said what they were grateful for, what they were proud of. And it was just a really nice feeling. It's not like, you're like, oh, school, it's like, oh, I got school again today. And it's like, it's really fun. And you know, you should definitely come here. <laughs>